It's magma, that's what I was thinking of. Magma's when it's still in the ground. It's lava when it comes out the top. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm so sorry, Carl. No, I'm done. Hey. Come on. Why don't finish this project? Yeah? Behind me. Do you think I should call Gay? I think you should call a psychiatrist. <sighs> no, it's not your fault, Nick. It's from a crush. I'll get you hot chocolate. Okay. It is lava. <laughs> well, I should probably get going. I need to pick up kids. Will you be all right? It's not him you should be worried about. Tina, I um, listen. I know this is short notice. Oh, I think we're gonna have a car, mate. Oh, this roadworks. It's about miles away. She's my mate for the fostering people. How did the interview go? They offered me the job. What, just like that? Just like that. I've got a dash. Oh. He's almost OCD about punctuality, so I really don't know what could have happened to Jenny. him. Here he is. It'll be some school-related emergency, no doubt. Oh, so sorry I'm late. I was beginning to get worried. Uh, sorry I'm late. Uh, bit of an emergency at school. Um, Brian. Uh, Trudy, hello. I told you it'd be something like that. The kids always come first with Brian. Always. <coughs> Shall we? I'm going to go and get changed out of this. I won't be long. Oh, no, no, it's fine. You don't need to come back. We can manage. Um, look, he's fine. The doctor said he might be like this sometimes. You know, a bit erratic. Tina, are you? Oh, I thought uh, Peter was picking him up. Yeah, well, I just thought it might be better doing something with Tina, you know, rather than hanging around here. Besides, we need to set up anyway. OK, see you in a bit. Yeah, see you later. Oh, listen, thanks for this. I just didn't want him hanging around here, bored out of his head. That's fine. I thought you were looking forward to coming here today. Snake, his head's bad, so he's not himself. Yeah, he's just got a lot on his plate, you know, we all have. Anyway, if you could drop him off at Peter's after work, that'd be great. All right, no problem. Go on, trouble. Bye, Mum. All right, I'll see you tomorrow, yeah? Bye, Nick. I thought he was having his tea here. Um, listen, can we sit down a minute? What? OK. I know you didn't mean to shout at him, but, I mean, has it happened before? You know, you kicking off like that? Uh, don't know, Rami. You know what my memory's like. Nick, I really haven't got time for jokes here. Yeah, tell me about it. I love that lad. Yeah, I know you do. So what, you, you sitting there asking me what? Whether I scare him on a regular basis? Nick. Have you any idea what it's like to lose control? Nick. No, I've never shouted at him. I've never shouted at any kid like that. I mean, the look on his face. I know, I'm just saying that he's seen a lot worse when Peter was drinking. Oh, so that's meant to make me feel better, is it? Is it? He's been frightened before. All right, just calm down. Just, um... Last night... I thought uh, I was going back to normal. You know, I thought I was over the worst. Um, sorry, we've got bookings in half an hour and the tables aren't done already. Yeah, I'm aware of that, Gloria. Please, just do what you paid for. Nick, all right, just calm down. Well, you're not going to talk to the customers like that. Oh, we'll all be out of a job. Ah, uh, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with me today. Just, uh, had this text from Leanne saying Tina's gonna drop sign for hours later. I thought we were picking him up from the bistro. Well, change your plan, obviously, anyway, come on. Right, you lot. Uh, Kirk has counted the output Ooh. so far. Ooh. Can you tell us the top three, please, Kirk? Right. In reverse order. That means number three first, number one last. <laughs> so where's number two? Still between the number three and number Stop one. Stop winding him up. You go, Kirky. Well, I call him Kirky. So, in third place, we've got Fizz. Mm. Third? I've been working all hours. What a good machine is there, babe. In second place, it's my Beth. <laughs> Beth? Yeah, me. Get over it. We can't get over it. You hardly do a stroke. All right, just settle down. Come on. Have you counted them right, Kirk? I did them three times. Counting was my favourite subject at school. After what? Colouring? All right, look, <laughs> I don't know about you lot, but I really want to go home, so... Can you give us a machinist that's in the lead, please, Kirk? Drum roll. Please don't. Sally. Oh, Kirk, I'll take it back about your counting. She's never going to let us forget this. Mm. Third? I thought I'd do better than that. Right, Friday, final results. Still in these game, isn't it? Too right. 
I doubt it. You can see we have a, a news agent just underneath us, so that's very handy for comics and sweets and... I don't think um, confectionery is what these kids need most, love. Oh, well, I wasn't saying we were going to fill them up with sweets. I operate a traffic light system with all foodstuffs regardless. As I can confirm. Green is anything goes. Amber, approach with caution. Red, very occasional treat. Very occasional, more's the pity. Well, that all sounds great, but I I'm really just here to assess the flat. Oh, we were a bit worried that you might think it was a bit small, weren't we, Brian? There's barely enough room to swing a cat, <laughs> let alone a lolloping great teenager. <laughs> <laughs> well, as I said, it won't necessarily be a teenager. Um, we'll be in touch very soon. Oh, we'll keep our fingers crossed. Uh, perhaps I could uh, walk you to your car. Oh, that's very kind. It's on Victoria Street. Oh, well, it's lovely to meet you. <laughs> you too. <laughs> Oof, lot to take in. <laughs> uh, expect uh, I'll do your uh, prospective fosterers run a mile when you give them all the gory details. Well, obviously people come in with the best of intentions, but they do tend to romanticise the idea initially. No, no, not me. I've spent 20 odd years working with the little devils. All I can do to stop myself from strangling some of them with my bare hands. <laughs> uh, but seriously though, um, I think you've uh, hit the nail on the head with the uh, romanticising business. Judy's very taken with the idea, as you can tell. And you're not? I just want her to be happy. This is something she really wants. It's not like getting a puppy. No. You can house train a puppy. <laughs> if you're in any doubt about going ahead with the application, you, you really have to say. You're right. I should be honest with her. I mean, my heart's never been set on the fostering, only on trying to please her. Uh, let me be clear. Are you saying that you don't want to go ahead with the application? Yes, I am. Uh, between you and me, uh, I can't stand kids. But you work with children. Why do you think I can't stand them? <laughs> this is serious. You do realise I'll have to turn down your application now that you've told me this? Yes, that's probably for the best. And that's all that we'll hear from you, is it? That you've turned down our application. Only I, I want to tell Julie how I feel when, when the time's right. Our letter will say that you want to withdraw the application. If your partner calls me, I'll have to be honest with her. Yes, of course, I understand. I'm sorry you've had a wasted journey. Um, Victoria Street's just round the corner. God knows how Beth got second in this competition. Honestly, she does nothing but yap, drink tea and talk about her kirky all day. What do you think it's supposed to look like this? It looks fine. Time to say their dance practice finishes. Five if they went. How do you mean? Oh, I'm going to put this back in just to be on the safe side. You hear funny things about beans. What, do you think they bumped off? Well, Mary came barreling into the cafe before saying that somebody had been chucking stones at a van again. And she blamed Faye? Well, she says she's not forgotten last time. Faye gets blamed for lots of things. Don't mean she did them. Mm. Don't mean to say she didn't either. She's getting changed out of his uniform. So, tell me what happened exactly. Um, well, I'm not sure. Nick was acting a bit odd when I dropped Simon off. Next thing, Leanne rang me and told me to come back and get him. W what do you mean, odd? Well, you know, not, not himself. Well, he has just had a brain injury. Yeah, but he shouted at Simon about his school project. Look, I like Nick and Leanne, so I don't be telling tales on them or anything. No, 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 it's, it's fine. I, I don't expect you to. Once we've had tea, I'll go around I'll talk to Leanne myself. Peter, you're not going to go in there all guns blazing. It's taken long enough for us to get on an even keel with them too, as it is. guns blazing. Well, haven't they got enough on the plate? I know we have. We are getting married in two weeks, remember? Maybe you should just give them a bit of a break. I'm not having Simon upsetting like that, and I'm sorry if it sounds harsh, but I don't want him around Nick if he's acting all oh, weird. Peter! No, I've said, all right? I'll sort it. OK. Just go and ask Simon what he wants for his dinner, then, shall I? Hey, listen, I, I really appreciate you helping us deal with this. He thinks a lot of you, you oh, know. he's a great kid. I get more conversation out of him than he ever did with Tommy, so... <laughs> no, I, I mean it, Tina. Thank you. Um, well, I, I best get going, so... Yeah, I'll, gonna... I will see you tomorrow. All right, yeah. See you tomorrow. Bye. The doctor said that there might be episodes like this. Erratic behaviour sometimes, memory lapses. Like the meeting this morning. Uh, I'm just saying what the doctor said, Nick. 
think we just assumed that when I got home, back to work, things would get better, like it was a broken leg or something. You are getting better. How can you say that after today? You're just tired. You're pushing yourself too hard. We all lose our rags sometimes, forget things. OK, thank you. There's a Mr Lee Anderson on the phone. Uh, something about rearranging a meeting from this morning. Can you tell him I'll call him out tomorrow? No, no. I'll take him in the office. Leanne, I can clear up my own messes. If I have a breakdown over the phone or insult his wife, well, we'll just have to find a new supplier. Look, love, why don't you both go home? Me and the grand can cope in here. I worry he's doing too much too soon. He'd rather be here than sat home stewing in the flat. You don't have to pretend with me. I can see what this is doing to you. I'm fine. Are you? Looking after Nick, trying to run this place, trying to spend time with Simon. Who's looking after you? Friend is there? Hi. You all right? Yup, that looks minging. Uh, excuse me, I've made that for your veggie, mate. And where is she anyway? Um, she was mean to us at dinner time. She was bullying this younger girl, and when we told her to stop, she started having a go at us. So I said she couldn't come for tea. Can I ask forget about her instead? No, you can't. Do you know how long it's taken your mum to make this blaming thing? Oh, I'm sure it'll be lovely, Mrs. Windass. Oh, well, thanks, Grace. I won't go as far as that, but. So. How was dance practice? Fine, yeah. The usual. Do you want to show us what you learnt? I'm a bit tired now. We can show you after tea if you like. We'll just go and wash our hands. Or we'll take some time to get the story straight. I can't believe he was aggressive towards Simon. Also, because you rarely hear Nick raise his voice. I mean, if it was somebody else. Why didn't you call me? Uh, don't give me that look. Gail's his mum. She should know what's happened. He shouldn't be working. The strain's obviously getting to him. All right, so what do you expect me to do about it, then? His doctor said he needs normality. You say he shouldn't be here. I say he should be at the flat. He says he wants to be here. What have you done? What have you said to him? Just that you're doing too much so soon after coming home. You both are. I mean, until he's better. We need more stuff here, and that's an end to it. I agree. This is my business and my life. I decide what hours I work, I decide what hours you work. Excuse me, I've got customers to see too. Mmm, see, it's not that bad actually, is it? It's very nice, Mrs. Windass. What do you think, is it? Please be pass me the ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll have it when you've finished. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, um, Mary came into the cafe today. Hmm? Should somebody been throwing stones at her van? Weren't you two, was it? No. You mean the mad woman who shouted at us before? She's not mad. She's a neighbour. Yeah. And if someone's been throwing stones at her van... Or playing any kind of tricks on it, it'd be a very cruel thing to do. It wasn't us. We were at dance practice. No, I know. But, you know, I said I'd ask you. And if you said it wasn't you, then I believe you. Good. Cos the truth always comes out in the end. Don't it is? Always. More's a pity sometimes. If you ask me, it doesn't make sense. Nobody is asking you. I've been staying on late most nights to get extra pairs done, you haven't. I'm a good machinist. Yeah, she is a good machinist. We're all good machinists. Yeah, well, I wonder if it isn't a coincidence that your boyfriend did the counting. I'd never cheat. No, no, you haven't got the brains for it for a start. Rise above it, Kirky. I do. You're just jealous cos I'm in second place. The competition isn't over yet. Oh, reckon you can take me? I know I can. Want to put your money where your mouth is? Fine. Ten quid says I win. Right, you're on. Do you want another one? Uh, let me think. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll have a vodka coconut pine, please. Too. Okay, coming up. Hi. I thought you'd be in here. Oh, it was telepathic. Oh. Take it the fostering meeting went well then. Couldn't have gone better. Oh. Could it, Brian? Oh, it's difficult to tell. I mean, these people play their cards very close to their chest. Well, I don't think there's any reason they turn us down. Trudy loved the flat. She thought it was ideal. And Brian was brilliant. Charm itself. Anything else? Oh, we'll get these, won't we, Brian? Oh, oh, why not? Um, white wine and a pint, please, Tina. OK, no worries. Oh, there's no harm in having a little celebration, is there? I wouldn't do to count our chickens, though. Should we get a table? Great, yeah. 
I don't mean to tempt fate, but I think we might be getting a new addition to the family soon. <laughs> Well, wow, looks like your plan went well. Don't. Brian, you've accepted a job in Wales while Julie's expecting the pitter-patter of tiny or not-so-tiny feet. Are you completely insane? I got your text. What's the big emergency? Outside. I need you. I need more knickers. Must be strange, isn't it? Oh, please, love. I never ask you to do anything for me. <laughs> You're always asking me to do things for you. I'm in second place. One last push and I'll be taking home that prize. Then our little Craigie can have the Christmas. Oh, like. please, will you just spur me the tiny Tim routine again? <sighs> I know it was a sentencing today. I've been thinking about you all afternoon, and I couldn't imagine that you'd feel like cooking tonight, so uh, it's a chicken casserole. The children always enjoyed it when I made it for them. You're so kind, thank you. <laughs> uh, would you care to join us, Mary? Uh, that is, unless you made other plans. No, I haven't. I'd love to join you. <laughs> Oh, come on in, come on. <laughs> Seems ages since I've seen Asher and Eddie. Yeah. <laughs> it's hot. Ah. See you tomorrow morning. Do you know? It's like my way coming here every day to pick you up. What's up with you? Nothing. It's just that I don't like your mum asking all them questions like I'm a criminal or a rubbish food. Right, come on, you two. Gracie's dad's waiting for her in the car. Bye, Mrs. Windass. Bye, Izzy. Thanks for having me. See ya. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to watch some telly with us? No, I don't. Hey, don't speak to your mum like that. Whatever's wrong, Faye? You, making a show of me, accusing me and Grace of all sorts, then making that rubbish tea. Could have died of embarrassment. Uh, a simple thank you would have done. See? This is what happens when he accuses her of doing things she hasn't done. Well, let's keep a closer eye on her. She's getting to that age, isn't she? Oh, is it? She's been that age since she came here. Look, I know you think it's good for her to have Grace as a mate, but... Don't she seem a bit too good to be true to you? I don't know, that's what your dad thinks, but... Well, I've been encouraging them, you know, to be mates. Do you think that she's a bad influence? Well, like I said, let's keep a close eye, eh? On them both. Do you know, I haven't felt this elated for ages. Years. Don't you, love? Oh, on top of the world. Looking down on creation. So what do you want, then, a boy or a girl? Oh, I don't mind, as long as they're healthy. <laughs> What's so funny? I don't know. It just seems funny asking that when they could, could be, like, six or seven. Or 15. <laughs> what about you, Brian? Oh, I don't mind. Oh, I imagine you'll be your fair with either, won't you, love? I'm made up for you, Bill. Are you sure you don't want to come in for a drink? We've got some wine in the fridge if Todd hasn't necked it. No, we'd best get home. It's been quite an eventful day. It oh. certainly has. Good night, then. Good night. Good night. Mum, you don't need to be here. I'm happy to help out. Especially as you gave Gloria the night of. And the sparkling mineral water? It's there. Hiya. You all right? You look tired. Cheers. Can I help you? No, it's fine, Nick. I just wanted to have a quick word with Leanne, actually. What? Whatever you got to say to her, you can say to me, right? Of course. Right, OK. It's, uh well, it's about what happened in here, actually, with Simon after school. I think we need to discuss it. Come on, Peter. Is this really the right time we're working? That's right. Um, why don't we take a seat? Yep. Sure. If Peter kicks off, I'm sure he won't. Well, Nick, um, I know we've had our differences, and believe me, if anyone understands what it's like going through injuries that you're going oh, through... Oh, you know what it's like to have a brain injury, do you? It's all right. Let him talk. Well, I know what it was like when that tram fell on top of me, on top of us, and I thought I might never walk again. I know what that was like. It was probably the darkest period of my life. Anyway, Tina told me what happened in here about you... losing it. It was a one-off. I was, uh, feeling tired today. You know, I wouldn't upset him for the war. No, I, I understand that. But, I mean, if you're having... Uh, I don't know what you'd call it, mood swings or whatever, do you think it's safe for you to be looking after Si? What? Just see it from my point of view, Nick. I mean, I'm his dad. 
Right, and if you're lashing out at him... Do you honestly think that I put Simon in any danger from anyone? I, of course I don't think that. Nick has just had a bad day. I know. He's tired and he shouted at Simon. Nothing more than we've done a million times before. I feel terrible about it. Nick, it's only because you're always so placid that he was shaken up. Me and Peter yell at him and it's like water off a duck's back. And let's be honest, Peter. You've done a lot worse to that lad than yell at him about his own work. All right, I'll take that on the chin. But size my priority. Come on, you, you understand that, don't you? You understand? Yeah, I do. And he's my priority too. Yeah. And I'm telling you that Nick's no danger to anybody. Least of all, Simon. He loves him. OK, if you're sure. But, Nick, I can't have Simon upset like that again. No, of course not. So I'm going to make it clear so there's no confusion. I know it's not your fault, but one more episode like today. And fair or not, I can't let you look after Simon again. So will Nick and Leanne be able to work through his temperamental mood swings? Watch an exclusive preview with Ben Price now at itv.com slash Corrie. Well, I hope Joey hasn't been confrontating anyone in the jungle. It is night two. Ant and Deck are waiting down under. Live I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here is next. <laughs>